Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back in another video. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about an update to New York Toy Fair. Uh, and we also have two reveals for the Transformers Legacy toy line uh, that are two core class figures that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. Okay, so as an update to my last news video where I talked about the fact that Hasbro and Walmart and Target, that they were pulling out of New York Toy Fair for a lot of different reasons, uh, it seems that, unfortunately, the event has been fully canceled. And that really stinks for a lot of people who were expecting February to be a big time for toy reveals because what they usually do is they have a lot of stuff shown during New York Toy Fair uh, to see what the, you know, a lot of figures that are be coming out in the next couple of months and what to expect for 2022 or, you know, for the following year um, for a lot of stuff that's coming. And on top of that, you know, Transformers in particular ha has the Transformers Legacy toy line coming out. It also has the Rise of the Beasts uh, stuff, which I think right now, because the movie got pushed back, I think the toy line got pushed back. And this kind of draws in line to a lot of, like, you know, putting things in place where certain figures are are, are ending up in certain waves and why there's an additional wave for, for Kingdom and, you know, a lot of stuff being, you know, shuffled around uh, all the stuff that's coming out. And I have no doubt in my mind that Hasbro is definitely going to be figuring out a way to get the figures for Legacy and eventually the, the Rise of the Beast figures as well to be shown, uh, you know, through, you know, various channels, whether it be through be like another one of those big meetings that they have. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see that. But the fact that New York Toy Fair got canceled really, really stinks because, I mean... I mean, New York City really could use, <laughs> you know, a big, uh, you know, a big infusion of, uh, of whatever. But, you know, I, I, what, what can we do, right? Like, so in the meantime, we do have some good Transformers news in that two legacy figures have been revealed for Transformers Tuesday and their core class, which, you know, which are the much smaller versions of figures. Kingdom had the core class Megatron, core class Soundwave, and Starscream, and Starscream has obviously been redecoed into Skywarp. We kind of expected them to do so, but it looks like he doesn't have his arm cannons. He now has two, two guns, and we also have Iguanas here in motorcycle mode. Now, as far as Skywarp is concerned, Skywarp looks great. I think Skywarp looks awesome. Definitely, if you're a person who likes the core class figures, you know, and ha already has Starscream, this is going to, you know, feed your seeker itch. Get Skywarp. I have no doubt in my mind they're going to end up doing Thundercracker at some point during Legacy because, you know, it's it's like a, it's an easy repaint, right? You know, just continue to uh, redeco the figure as many times as you possibly can to get as many uh, characters out of it. And Skywarp is no exception. And I, I think he looks good. I just don't like the weapon he comes with. I just don't. And I know that third-party people are going to be making the Null Ray Cannons um already like it's going to be like first thing day one when this thing arrives that you're going to be uh redecoing it in some form or fashion but now iguanas is an interesting case because iguanas was a, a wave two of the Tr transformers pretenders figures in 1988 um for, if you don't know what pretenders are uh pretenders were they had a, a transformer that turned into whatever vehicle mode that they did and they also had what was called a pretender shell where they kind of like the it was like a battle armor over them and if they were in human counterpart they can hide in plain sight you know it would either in master force it would shrink the robot in uh the the marvel comics because this by this point the cartoon had already ended in 1988 so what they did with the pretenders was is that they we went to planets where the aliens were the same size as Transformers. And so you had human pretenders uh, going to like, you know, the first one of Femax was hitting on one of the the Autobot pretenders. It was an interesting time to, to be reading Transformers comics. But it was kind of cool because the Decepticons all turned into monsters. And Iguanas was one of them. Iguanas was actually part of the second wave. And his original figure, uh, which you can see here, uh, has, you know, his regular robot mode. 
turned into a motorcycle, and then you had the pretender shell. And the pretender shell could move the arms. That was it. <laughs> that was it. All he could move. And you open up the shell, and the robot itself can actually go inside. And the purpose of pretenders in storyline-wise, at least as far as the Marvel Comics was concerned, was that it was kind of not only a battle armor, but they could separate from their armor, bat both the armor and the robot could battle. But when they're inside their armor, they can heal their injuries. So you could take a dead Transformer and place it into a pretender shell and it would revive them. And that's how Jazz, Bumblebee, um, Grimlock, and Starscream came back from the dead in the Marvel comics is that they placed them into pretender shells and that's how they came back. Um, whereas here, they were brand new Decepticons taking over these shells is what Scorponok actually created, the one, the one that Iguanas turns into. And Iguanas here having a fully posable robot mode, kind of, it's like a combination of both. You, you have like the motorcycle wheels on his back, as well as the, the pretender robot has a gun that he comes with. And then, of course, he transforms into a motorcycle, just like he did back in G1. But this is different enough to still, you know, get, get you that itch. But to be quite honest with you, for Pretenders, I wish we still had the full scale. You know, if you want to, get the core class robots that turn into the regular robots. And along that comes with a, you know, a, either a Deluxe or a maybe a Voyager class. Uh, you know, sell it as a Voyager, making a Deluxe class uh, shell that the core class can go inside, then you would have pretenders again. And be quite honest, and the one that I want to see the most out of pretenders, if you guys know, is Thunderwing. Thunderwing and Bludgeon are two pretenders that I and I would definitely say Metalhawk too, because Metalhawk, I would like a US version of Metalhawk that has the pretender shell and everything to battle against Thunderwing. And I know that's like a G1 Marvel comic versus uh, you know, Master Force, but to be able to cross those universes is exactly what Transformers Legacy is about. To be able to not only have, you know, G later G1 stuff, have some early G1 stuff, but let's bring upon more stuff for Legacy. I want to see a lot of different figures for Legacy. I have been, you know, I, I've been chomping at the bit for uh, some of the characters that came out in Transformers Animated, maybe some of the, 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 uh, single characters that came out in Prime or, you know, even Cyberverse. I would love for them to redeco RC into Flame War. I would love for them to make a lug nut. You know, uh, somebody on uh, Twitter giving a shout out to Carito for, uh, um, I believe it's his artwork, uh, made this awesome artwork of Shatter. And the, imagine a legacy Shatter that fully transformed into a car, fully transformed into a jet, and had this robot mode in Transformers Legacy, I would buy it. I would buy it. I would add her to my, uh, you know, Legacy and War for Cybertron, uh, you know, Decepticons. Like, I, I ab would absolutely buy her. And shout out to, again to uh, to Carito for this awesome, art, you know, artwork. Um, but yeah, I would like to see a lot of cool stuff in Legacy. And with that, I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of the Transformers news? Are you excited about Iguanas and, and Skywarp? Are you bummed out about New York Toy Fair? And you think that we're going to still see some awesome stuff for, for Legacy and Rise of the Beasts? And what el what other characters do you want to see in Transformers Legacy? Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I have many more Transformers discussions, retrospectives, and news coming down the pipeline, so stay tuned for all of that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.